Welcome to this course on reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning is a branch of machine learning. So let's first see what is machine learning and where reinforcement learning fits into it. So machine learning is categorized into three main categories, supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. Nowadays, semi-supervised learning term is also popular. But for the sake of simplicity, we will stick to these three main branches. In supervised learning, as the name suggests, there is some supervision or guidance present. So we provide a set of labeled data and also the corresponding output. And the job of the network is to learn using those well-labeled training data. And the main classes of supervised learning are classification and regression. So classification, as the name suggests, deals with categorizing the data into classes, whereas in regression, we get some real valued output. So one example of classification would be that we are given some examples, sample images of cars and some images of bike or bicycle and some other vehicles, maybe bus. And we, uh, we have labeled those objects in our images. So we provide the position where these are located in the image. So if we provide tons of tons of data, like maybe 100K or 10K such labeled data to our network, in this case for image processing, CNN, then ultimately it will the network will figure out what's the difference between the representation of a car to a bicycle or a bus. And ultimately, when we feed in new data to this trained neural network, it will be able to predict correctly whether the image belongs to the class of car, bike, or bus. So we can call the car as class 1 and bike as class 2 and class 3. So it will give out some discrete classes here three whereas in the case of regression we it, we may give some uh, continuous data like some housing prices are given and we have given some input factors like number of bedrooms area of the house locality and and so on so we have provided a bunch of such data and also the corresponding price of the house. So this will be some real number. So training our neural network with these sets of data will ultimately be able to predict the price of a new house. So when we feed in uh, a set of bedrooms, uh, house area and the locality of the house, the network will be able to predict what should be the price of the house. So this will be example of a regression where it will predict some real valued out output. In unsupervised learning, there is no supervisor or guidance. So here the network just tries to group the given data based on similarity or tries to understand the hidden structure in the data and tries to find which data are similar and which data are different. And it will ultimately try to group similar data together. So the main classes of unsupervised learning are clustering and association. So clustering will mainly group uh, different data points, whereas association would uh, try to find some relation between different parameters. Like in the earlier class uh, supervised learning example, we saw we had three parameters, x1, x2, x3, and we were predicting y and we had record one and output, second record, third record. So clustering would try to group these different data points together, like these two records are similar. Whereas association would try to find some association that this uh, X3 is highly linked to X, X1. So whenever X1 is there, it's highly likely that X3 is also there. So these are related. So this is the difference between clustering and association. And these fall under the category of unsupervised learning. 
Finally, reinforcement learning, which is the main subject of this course. In reinforcement learning, there is no supervisor, but it has reward signals. And the main components of reinforcement learning are agent and environment. So agent takes some action based on some policy. So here by agent, I mean some algorithm. And it has some policy based on which it will take some action. And environment will emit certain observations depending on the action taken by the agent and also some reward. So data depends on the agent's action. For example, here there is no predefined set of data and suppose we have a robot and it's trying to learn to walk. So if robot moves in this direction, it may get different types of observations like some objects may be there in its way and when it falls down it will receive negative reward from the environment and it will try to correct itself whereas if the robot would have moved in this direction it would have observed different kind of experience and it would have uh, got some different observations so here the data on which the agent is being trained depends on the action of the agent whereas in the case of supervised learning we would have provided some fixed data set on which we will train our uh, neural networks. So it's different from uh, supervised learning. So some example of reinforcement learning could be learning to play chess, where uh, the agent takes some uh, step and it will get some positive or negative reward. And if it gets negative reward, it will try to correct itself. And finally, with lots of experience, it will the agent will learn how to play chess. Similarly, a uh, flying helicopter could be one example of reinforcement learning where the crashing on crashing helicopter we may give some uh, negative uh, reward and for following some trajectory as we want we would give some positive reward and similarly robot work also comes under reinforcement learning. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel for my future videos.